Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look at rule number five, where we talk about the inverse of a matrix. With other words, the determinant of the matrix A is equal to one over the determinant of the inverse of the matrix A. So here we have matrix A, two, one, three, and five, and the inverse of matrix A, which is one over the determinant of matrix A times, and here we have the elements in this diagonal exchanged and these elements here become the opposite sign. Since they were positive, they become negative. If you simplify this, the inverse of matrix A equals 1 over 7 times this matrix right here. Now we're going to take the determinant of matrix A and the determinant of the inverse of matrix A and then see if this is indeed correct. Taking the determinant of matrix A looks as follows. The determinant of matrix A is equal to, we get 2, 1, 3, and 5. This is equal to the product of these two diagonals, which is 2 times 5, minus the product of these diagonals, which is 1 times 3. This gives us 10 minus 3, which is equal to 7. Now we're going to take the determinant of the inverse of matrix A. So we have the inverse of matrix A, take the determinant of that, which is equal to, since that's this matrix here is multiplied times a constant, we have to take 1 over 7 raised to the order of the matrix. In this case, the order is 2 because it's a 2 by 2 matrix. So 1 over 7 raised to the second power times the determinant of that matrix. 5, negative 1, this is negative 1 here and negative 3 and 2. This is equal to 1 over 49 times the product of these two, that is 5, times 2 minus the product of those two, which is minus 1 times a minus 3. Like this. Simplifying that, this is equal to 1 over 49 times, that's 10 minus 3, because this times this gives us a positive 3 times this is a minus 3, which means this is equal to 7 over 49, or 1 over 7. Now let's go ahead and plug that into this equation right here. So we can say that, well, let's take this here and rewrite the equation over here. The determinant of matrix A should be 1 over the determinant of the inverse of matrix A, and we can see here that the determinant matrix A is equal to 7. That is equal to 1 divided by the determinant of the inverse of matrix A, which is 1 over 7. 1 over 7. And of course, when you divide by fraction, that's the same as multiplying by its inverse. You can then see that 7 equals 7. Therefore, we can verify that that is indeed correct. And there's an example of how rule number 5 can be applied.